at 6.09, and yesterday was beautiful rest. A lovely day yesterday, Mary. So we'll roll out a few more of those in the extended forecast as well. Now, this weather report brought to you by Rogers, and I will say that this afternoon, maybe not quite as sparkling and sunny as it was later yesterday, but the ever-present high-pressure ridge, it's still there. It's really persisting for the next 7 to 10 days, and that means around here, rainfall, slim to none is what we'd call it. Uh, what's coming for the second half of the day today, though, is this clump of cloud that's moving over the top of the ridge and heading towards us. So I think that we'll have some fog patches initially this morning. They'll lift and dissipate beautiful and sunny right through noontime. And then later in the day, this veil of high cloud drifts overhead. Again, no precipitation, but maybe just maybe a sprinkle out of that system sometime by Friday morning. So let's zoom in and show you the distribution of the clouds around the lower mainland here with our temperatures at minus one and Cranbrook, three above in Kelowna, seven at the International Airport. And again, mostly clear up above, a few patches of fog forming along the river valley in our usual trouble spots, sort of pit meadows towards Maple Ridge and Mission, and also hugging the coastline and down towards Tawas and Ladner, parts of Richmond as well. So the fog is only featured in the early morning forecast. Things will brighten up nicely, sunny and 14 degrees for lunchtime, and then that veil of higher cloud drifts in to wrap up the day. But it is dry all of today, 16 degrees. Is it dry tomorrow? Well, it's a close call. There's everybody's favorite, the sprinkle or two in the morning. The afternoon tomorrow starts to clear again, and that clearing trend could hold up for another week. It's a beautiful weekend picture with a high to 16 in the sun on Sunday, even warmer next week, and it remains mostly sunny straight through the end of next week. It's a long time before we'll be talking about any storm watch around these parts. Thor, good morning to you and a happy Thursday. Yeah, that's music my ears. I spent about three hours at Terra Nova Park in Richmond with my daughter yesterday. I saw awesome. you. Your, uh, your shot of the, uh, what kind of owl yeah, was that you were taking a picture a of? a barred owl. That's beautiful. Yes, a yeah. common urban owl around here. Fun fact. All right, thanks, Russ. We'll take a look at the traffic details. We had an earlier crash on Highway 17 in Surrey that had closed the westbound uh, uh, traffic there between 104th Avenue and 136th Street, but it is reopened once again, so good news there. No other reported problems at this time. Let's take a look at the uh, volume uh, beginning to the Massey Tunnel approach for the 99 northbound as you head out of Delta. Looking pretty good there. Minimal congestion, just a couple of cars on the road uh, trickling through with the rush. And then for the Alex Fraser Bridge, uh, nothing to be too worried about there.